making his fourth his fourth run is Owen Bond, the junior. Bond was the key factor in that first relay win for Spash. Coaches encouraging their athletes on. We're closest to the Lincoln sign, so you'll hear Lincoln a little bit louder. As Owen Bonds will take this one. And he will finish at 210.33. A, a very strong time for the junior from Smash. Bond gets his second event win. It will be Cooper Gunderson in second on lane two. 226-63. Battle for third between Bourneville and Price. It looks like it's going to be Bourneville who takes it. 234-60. 235-43 for Price. And 236-68 Gavin Lack. So event number two goes to the junior Owen Bond a time again, 210-33. As we'll get to the 200-yard individual medley, is full lane to six. Sam Gargalak will lead it in lane number one. Will William Gargalak in lane two. Parker Soik in lane three, the senior from Spash. White Erdman, the sophomore from Rapids Lincoln, will be in lane four. Elliot Schultz in lane five. And Tyler Schultz in lane six, also from Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln. As they all they head to the platform. Pretty even start this time. As looks like the early lead will be taken in lane three. Parker Soik for Spash. As he hits the turn first, takes about a length lead over William Gargalak. Battle for third between Sam Gargalak and Wyatt Erdman. As again, hitting the turn quickly, Parker Soik, 29 or 27 second length. As now we go to the backstroke. So lead of about two lengths as he hits in turn, but starting to gain a little bit, William Gargalak in lane number two. Across the minute mark of this event, third of 11. As Soy continues to lead now, starting to expand it just a touch over Gargalak. Battle for third again between Sam Gargalak, White Erdman in lane one and four. Again, hitting the turn first on this fourth length is Parker Soik. Urban with the best time on our heat sheet. He went 231.23 earlier this year. Making the turn. A couple more lengths remaining for Parker Soik, who has expanded his lead in lane number three. Spash Senior. Makes his final turn about halfway down. It will be Parker Soik with the event win at 218.26. In second will be William Gargalak, 223.08. Third place will belong in lane one to Sam Gargalak, 231.42. Wyatt Erdman, 233.52, will come in fourth.
Coming in next will be Elliot Schultz, the sophomore for Lincoln. Time of 2.53.95. As Tyler Schultz makes his final length. So the third event, third win for Spash. They won the 200-yard medley relay to open the event at a time of 156.63. Event number two went to Owen Bond, the 200-yard freestyle with a time of 210.33. And number three, Parker Soik, 218.26. Takes a 200-yard freestyle for Spash. So three events in, three wins for the Smash Panthers as we give your mind as well to be sure to sit back and enjoy the handcrafted sodas from the Stevens Point Brewery. They're made from 100% real sugar, high quality ingredients, and select from a variety of styles, including Point Root Beer and Diet Root Beer, Black Cherry, Orange, Vanilla, Cream, and Kitty Cocktail. For more than 15 years, Point Premium Root Beer has been a tradition right here in central Wisconsin with their rich, creamy, delicious root beer made with real Wisconsin honey and 100% natural sugar. Add some ice cream for a great tasting root beer float as Stevens Point Brewery supports all area athletes. Once again, everyone, we welcome you. We apologize for the technical difficulties early on. My name is Mike Whelan. Trevor Zaleski doing the production for this meet here from Spash as the next event, the boys' 50-yard freestyle. First man in the water is Kiki McKinley champion from Spash in lane number two. As, but he's quickly surpassed by Connor Pilger, the sophomore in lane number three. Flying in lane three. And it is over. 23-28 your score for Connor Pilger. What a time. Second place in, looks to be in lane number two is Kean McKinley champion. In third from Wisconsin Rapids, Matthew O'Connor with a time of 25.39. So just a 17 hundredth of a second difference. As through four events, it has been four victories for Smash. So we do a brief intermission, so we will step aside. We'll be back after this with more boys swimming here between the Smash Panthers and the Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln Red Raiders. We'll be back after this with more coverage right here on Zaleski Sports. Experience choice at Mid-State Technical College. Experience your choice to learn with small, in-person classes, online classes, and innovative technology classes. Your choice of school to career or career to career support. Your choice to get started here and transfer as a junior to all UW colleges or with an associate degree in one of our 60 in-demand programs. Experience choice at Mid-State Technical College. Get started at mstc.edu. At VNH Automotive, you'll get the best price and best selection on all Ford, Lincoln, Chrysler, Ram, Dodge, and Jeep models guaranteed. At VNH, our friendly staff is always ready, here to serve you. No pressure, no gimmicks, just great deals, great service, and the best vehicles in Central Wisconsin. Come see why our customers rate us number one. VNH Automotive, a short drive from anywhere, or visit us at vhautos.com. Jason Zaleski here to tell you that Hewitt's Meat has you covered with simple, easy, and free home delivery. Residents of North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin get free, that's right, free delivery on every order from Hewitt'sMeats.com. Choose from bratwurst, wieners, bacon, jerky, sausage, cheeses, ham, snack sticks, gift boxes, and even the popular grillers. With over 50 flavors of bratwurst, Hewitt's Meat with free delivery will please your entire family. Visit the store in Tomahawk, Marshfield, or Hewitt's Meat on Facebook today. Welcome back here to Stevens Point. We're at Spash High School as it is the boys swimming meet between Spash and Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln. And my name is Mike Wellen, Trevor Zaleski doing the production for this evening's event. We've gone through four events. Your score is Spash 42, Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln 20, and the teams going through the first four events very quickly. Uh, to catch you guys up. The first event of the night was the boys 200 yard medley relay. That was won by Spash with a time 156.63 with Parker Soik, Owen Bond, William Gargalak, and Connor Pilger. Getting away on that one, Wisconsin Rapids, their A, their A unit came in second 207.90. Second event was the boys 200 yard freestyle 
And that was Owen Bond for Spash, who got the win, 210-33 the time. Second place, Co Cooper Gunderson, also from Spash, 226-63. Alex Bornofil from Rapids Lincoln got, came in a third in that one. The third event was the 200-yard individual medley. That was won by Parker Soik from Spash at the time of 218-26. William Gargalak came in second, 223-08. And Sam Gargalak in third, all from Spash. And the last event that we just concluded before this intermission was the 50-yard freestyle, and that was won by Connor Pilger, also a Spash, 23-28 his time. Keegan McKinley champion got the second place, 25-22, but right behind was Lincoln's Matthew O'Connor at a time of 25-39. That leads through four events of the scheduled 11 on our heat sheet for this evening's meet. As we take a touch to the chance to remind you, as we are in January, and it's time for ice fishing, so Fleet Farm, they've got everything you need from reels, shelters, boots, even live bait and fishing licenses. It's Fleet Farm. They proudly serve the Midwest since 1955. Also during this intermission, a chance to talk to you guys about Spectrum Benefit Solutions. They have offices in Wausau, Stevens Point, Wisconsin Rapids, Medford, and in Spencer as well. Spectrum Benefit Solutions is your group benefits provider for health, dental, accident, and life insurance. Spectric Benefit Solutions works with hundreds of clients of all sizes to help you attract and retain the best employees. Find Spectrum Benefit Solutions on Facebook to get started. Also as well as we got the next few events getting loose, getting warmed up to get comfortable this winter with Point Heating and Cooling. Point Heating and Cooling is your Lennox dealer and Siemens Point employee over more than 100 years of making your home and business comfortable. So sign up for planned service and receive 10% off parts and a reminder to service your furnace and central air conditioner later on this summer. Call Point Heating and Cooling, 715-345-1979. Visit online at pointheating.com. Four events of the 11 concluded as we continue. They gave about a 10-minute warm-up period to get ready for the second. So, so coming up, we're going to have the 100-yard butterfly, the 100-yard freestyle, and the 500-yard freestyle. That's going to be one of the big events. Also coming up, 200-yard freestyle relay, the 100-yard backstroke, the 100-yard breaststroke, and it'll conclude with the 400-yard freestyle this evening. All right, again, broadcasting to you live from Stevens Point here at Spash. Your score through the first four events as a team. Spash leads it 42 to 20 over Wisconsin representing. So we're going to step aside quickly, quickly again. We'll be back right after this with more coverage on Zaleski Sports. Grassland Dairy Products is your match for an exciting new career today. Go to grassland.com to see the opportunities waiting for you. Browse through careers like CDL truck driver, shipping and receiving, line tech, quality assurance, forklift, maintenance tech, inventory associates, and more. Great compensation, weekly pay, and zero premium company paid health, dental, and life. Apply now at grassland.com or in person at Grassland Dairy Products, Fairground Avenue, just south of Greenwood. At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man-made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high-quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin. Bauer & Fine Business Technologies is your complete office technology solution. For 60 years, Bauer & Fine Business Technologies has been serving school districts, municipalities, counties, religious organizations, and businesses in Wisconsin and beyond. Visit b-bt.com and let Bauer & Fine Business Technologies be your complete office technology solution. That's b-bt.com. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm the director at Little Sprouts. Um, Little Sprouts has been a real great community. It's very family friendly. Um, it feels like a big family to me and being the new director here, um, I felt very welcomed into the family. I really like the smaller family. Everybody knows everybody and you, you all get to know everybody in the center and we do family activities and much of a family atmosphere.
Accurate Spash is there. King recognition to the seniors of the team, so I will take them headset and let the announcer take care of the rest as much as I can. the recognizing the seniors and the and the underclassmen as parents night and senior night here from Spash as we get ready for the next f section of this meet. We've again we've gone through four events. Your score is a team Spash 42, Rapids Lincoln at 20. Yeah, it's coming up next. When they do get put, uh, the meet resumed, it'll be the 100-yard butterfly. Five competitors listed, lanes two through six. So I. So quick breakdown as you're looking at your screen right now, the closest lane to the camera will be lane number six. So it'll be, one is on the far side, so one through six. So the best time we have listed also for the 100-year butterfly will comes from Rapids Lincoln. That was White Urban, a time of 116.53. That was... The seeding time. Officials, are we ready? All right, we're going to start off the second half of the meet with event number 10, the varsity 100 yard butterfly. In lane so, lane number two from Spash. It'll be Eddie Ed Sapa, William Gargalak from Spash in lane number three. White Erdman will be in lane four from Rapids Lincoln. Jackson Meyer will be from Wisconsin Rapids in lane five. And Elliot Schultz in lane number six. So in Sapa, Gargalak, Erdman, Meyer, and Schultz, lanes two through six. First man in the water is Ed, Eddie Sapa from Spash in lane number two. But he's now going neck and neck with Will Gargalak, the freshman. And it looks like Sapa will hit 
first just by a hair. Battle right to the end. S second turn made, Sapo leads it, Gargalak right behind. It's half a torso. In third is Jackson Meyer in lane number five. Final turn for Sapa. But he's falling behind. Gargalak pulls ahead in lane three. For the finish, it will be Gargalak, 101.84. Sapa in second, 104.58. In third, Meyer, 113.41. So top two spots again belong to the Spash Panthers. For three turns, Ed, Eddie Sapo led it, but then the last length, Will Gargalak, the freshman, comes through and takes the, the event win. Next up will be the 100-yard freestyle. Hayden Ackerland will line up in lane one, Cooper Gunderson in two, Sam Hill in three, four, Alex Borneville from Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln, Nathan Nielitz, and Nicholas Milner will be in lane number six for Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln. So as they get ready to hit the starting platforms. Low to the ground and, and first man in Sam Hill. First four lanes staying tight. Hill with an early lead in the 100 yard freestyle. First turn made by Hill, second place to Gunderson, Bourneville and Ackerland battling for third. Hill hits the platform, he'll make the first turn into the third length. Hill leads, gaining a little bit, pulling away from Gunderson. Battle for third, Ackerland and Borneville. Hill carving through the water. As he will finish at the time of 57.65. Second place to Cooper Gunderson, 104.74. Third place goes to Alex Borneville from Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln, a time of 106.26. So Borneville, good job gaining late. He'll take a three second win over fourth place was Hayden Ackerland. Fifth was Milner. Neelitz will come in sixth for Wisconsin Rapids. But a blistering 57.65 time for the senior Sam Hill for the Spash Panthers get the event win. Quick update as well as we continue here on this meet from Spash that Draxler Transport's got flatbed driving opportunities. They'll pay you five cents a mile premium over van. At Draxler Transport, drivers are always home for the request of time off. For their family-oriented company, they'll treat you like family. So visit DraxlerTransport.com to apply today. Six of the 11 events in the books now. Event number 14 is on the bank, the seventh event of this meet. It'll be a 500-yard freestyle. Keegan McKinley champion, the junior in lane number two. Sam Gargalak for Spash in lane three. From Wisconsin Rapids, Lincoln in lane four will be Matthew O'Connor. Logan Macieski the, uh, for Wisconsin Rapids in lane number five. And Charlie Price in lane six for Wisconsin Rapids, Lincoln. Here is the endurance test, 500 yards. First man in, McKinley Champion. Well then quickly surging to an early lead, Matthew O'Connor, the senior. Now early ahead lane two, McKinley Champion, Gargalak O'Connor, your top three.
Teammates at the at the end of the pool, keeping track of how many lengths they have done in this 500-yard freestyle. Gargalak starting to gain a little bit. On McKinley champion. Everyone's completed their first three lengths, but the battle neck and neck for first. McKinley champion Gargalak hit at the same time. Just less than half a second apart. Third place right now, O'Connor, but he's in danger of getting passed by, Masi by Masieski. Gargalak takes the lead in the sixth length and starts to pull away. Only see the time is Logan Masieski from Rapids Lincoln, a 63196 your time, so we're gonna be here a while. This is a definitely a grueling event, and I am not a competitive swimmer, so I give every credit imaginable to every guy in the pool this evening. This is an incredible feat at, at a very young age. First one to hit length seven is Gargalak, lane number three. Second place, Keegan McKinley champion, O'Connor and Masayeski battling for third. They're neck and neck in lanes four and five for Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln. The ninth length about to be completed for Sam Gargalak. And he hits the edge and turns it over. And he is extending his lead half the lane for Gargalak. Second place, McKinley champion, Logan Masayeski in third, O'Connor in fourth, Charlie Price in fifth. Hill in his 11th. Past the three minute mark of this event, this is the seventh of 11 events of this meet this evening as Hill hits again. He's through 12. That length, 35 seconds. Hill flying through this event right now with the four minute mark as McKinley Champion now in danger of being overtaken for second. Masayeski getting stronger as the event goes on. It's about a third of the lane separating second and third as Hill is flying. Looks to be on his way to an event victory. That length will need 36 51. As he finishes his 15th length. This is a 20 length event. Hill flips in lane three, four more to go. 37-03, that split. Battle right now is for a second. It's about a three stroke lead but for McKeegan McKinley champion, but right there, Logan Masayeski. as Masayeski starting to gain a little bit again. This is still about a car length as Hill hits his final two lengths. Sam Hill, or sorry, Sam Gargalak, my apologies, Gargalak. I got my Sams mixed up. Gargalak flying to victory. 
He'll make one more turn, and he's on the way. McKinley Champion gaining a little bit as well. In second, he extends his lead just a little bit. Hill heading to the finish. We'll see what the time for Gargalak ends up being. 5.53.29 is your winning time for Sam Gargalak for Smash. 5.53.29 gets the win. Final length for Keegan McKinley champion. He looks like he will take second. Time for him will be 6.26.23. Third place will be Logan Masayeski, 6.32.76. Matthew O'Connor completing his final turn as he will cross in fourth at 6.50.48. And as now Charlie Price going strong, he's got one final length to do. He makes the final turn on the way back in lane number six. The 500 yard freestyle. Both teams cheering on Charlie Price, the senior, as he hits the finish. A round of applause from his teammates as this event comes to an end. Your winner, Sam Gargalak, 5.53.29. He won by 33 seconds over second place Keegan McKinley champion. Four events to go. As we get ready, quick reminder as well. During these final four events, that Feltz Dairy, they're looking at the Crossroad Commons in Stevens Point. They're a family-friendly experience, serving your favorite cheeses, ice cream, meat, and more, all grown right here in central Wisconsin. Feltz Dairy is open Monday through Saturday, 24-7 on Facebook as well. Now we got a 200-yard freestyle relay. Three teams competing in lane three from Spash will be Hayden Ackerland, Cooper Gunderson, Sam Gargalak, and Keegan McKinley champions. So they go from the 500 immediately into the 200. R relay in lane number four will from center representing will be Elliot Schultz, Tyler Schultz, Charlie Price, Alex Borneville, and from Lincoln as well in five Gavin Lack, Nicholas Milner, Matthew Grant, and Nathan Nielitz. Even start for Spash and Lincoln, Ackerland and Schultz, Wisconsin Rapids, Lincoln. He'll hit the turn first. Second leg, he'll go to Tyler Schultz, Cooper Gunnerson for Spash. Diving in first will be Tyler Schultz. But with him, Cooper Gunnerson, it's about a half a body length separates the two. Lincoln looking for their first win of the night. Some really close calls throughout. But now Gunnerson and Schultz leaving Underson pulling ahead by a head. Sam Gargalak, the third leg. Charlie Price, the third leg for Lincoln. Gargalak hits the turn first. Their anchor will be Keegan McKinley champion. And He'll dive in first, he's pulling away. Alex Borneville will be the anchor. And he's in for Lincoln. Coming to the finish line. Time of 1.53.30. For the Spash Relay team. Second place will be Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln's A20346. 
Final leg, Nathan Nielitz, the freshman for Lincoln, finishing the run. Nielitz will come to the line with a time of 226.63. Freestyle confirming Gargalax win there. 553.29 there. 153.30, the 200 yard freestyle relay win as we continue now with the 100 yard backstroke. It'll be a full pool, six lanes filled. Sam Hill in lane number one, Ed Eddie Sapa in lane two, Connor Pilger in three. Those three are from Spash. Logan Masayeski in lane four from Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln, Gavin Lack from Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln, and Nicholas Milner from Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln in lane six. As they get into the water, grab onto the platform to get the 100-yard backstroke underway. First in, Sam Hill. Both of pulling ahead early on, Connor Pilger in lane number three. First turn made Pilger. He'll start back in his second length. Four-length event. Pilger leading about a third of the lane. Second place right now, Sapa, third place Hill. Already making the second turn on his third length is Connor Pilger. Pilger was the, he won the 50 yard freestyle and he was the anchor in the 200 yard medley win as he makes his final turn. It looks it's going to be Connor Pilger coming to the end first, and he gets the time with one minute, .02. Just missed the minute mark. Second place is going to be Eddie Sapa with 111.48. Third place Hill, 113.24. And fourth place will go to Logan Masayeski for Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln. His time, 128.43. Gavin Lack and Nicholas Miller rounding out the events. We completed nine of the 11 events now on this, uh, during this meet. Spash in Wisconsin Rapids, Lincoln from Stevens Point Area Senior High. Spash, as it's affectionately known as across the states. As the final competitor crosses the line, 154.82. So as they announce the results from the 200 freestyle, really quick reminder as well that awards and more is your one-stop location. You can get there for awards, plaques, trophies, embroidery, screen printing, and promotional products. Awards and more is also the proud sponsor of the Zaleski Sports Athlete of the Month. So vote for the awards and more Zaleski Sports Athlete of the Month at ZaleskiSports.com. Visit awards and more on Facebook to begin your next trophy order. Next event up, the 100-yard breaststroke. So getting set up for the 100 yard Colts in five, Matthew Grant in lane six, four, five, and six, all from Wisconsin Rapids, Lincoln. Early lead for Parker Soik in lane three, battle for second, senior. And pull ahead. Right, Owen Bond as hitting the final turn on the home stretch, Parker Soik. As he comes to the finish line, your winning time will go to Owen Bond. Battle for third, Schultz and Nielitz. Right, nose to nose for third. And it will be Schultz. Tyler Schultz, the 400 yard freestyle relay. Charlie Price, Gavin Matthew Grant, Logan 
This is setting up for the 400 yard freestyle relay. Lane two, Spash. Will Gargalak will be the lead there. Connor Pilger in lane three for Spash. Jackson Meyer for Scott Rapids Lincoln in lane four. Charlie Price in lane five. Final event underway from this meet here at Spash. And the early lead goes to Connor Pilger in lane three for the Spash Panthers. Lanes two and four right behind. Will Gargalak, Jackson Meyer. First turn made for Pilger and Spash is each one's got to go 100 yards. This is going to, much like we saw with the 500 yard individual. As now pulling away, Connor Pilger. He'll hand off to Sam Hill. Meyer head neck and neck as the handoff to Hill and Spash's second. Lincoln trying to make up the ground. For Rapids Lincoln's other team, Gavin Lack. Second turn made by Sam Hill. He leads. About half a lane behind in third. But another half lane to between second and first. Four Hill hands off to Parker Soik. And Soikin now in lane three. Middle get the handoff in lane four for Lincoln. That last split for for Hill was 33 old. Gavin Lack lined off to Matthew Grant in lane five for Lincoln as well. As making his third length and pulling away Parker Soy, the anchor. Eddie Sapo will hand off to Keegan McKinley. Bond complete. Champion hits it first. Then O'Connor hits Bond on his final. And he hits the line with a time of three. They're lane five. Second place will go to Spash as well. Keegan and McKinley champion hits at 406. 46. As leaders, he's got two more lengths to go. So we wrap up the meet. Team score is four tonight. As the final length being concluded. He hits the line and our event comes to a conclusion. I'll give you guys the final events, the event numbers, the team scores. We'll be back after this on Zaleski Sports. Masonville Dairy, family owned and operated, bringing you fresh cheese curds made daily, along with many other varieties of Wisconsin made cheeses and treats. Don't forget to check out our cheese and sausage trays for your upcoming parties and cheese and sausage gift packages for the holiday season or any other special occasion. Masonville Dairy, located just southwest of Marshfield on US Highway 10, masonvilledairy.com. All right, so we're here with, uh, with Kim Hyman. Uh, Kim, Nasonville Dairy, 125 years in the making. Uh, tell us about that. You know, it's fantastic. It was the first plant built in Wood County back in 1885. Sal Nason and his family came here, and uh, they started a small dairy plant. Uh, eventually, that plant burnt down, but then they rebuilt onto this same facility. And uh, our family moved here in the late 60s in 1968 and took it over from there, and it's been just a fantas fantastic growth. Great community, great people we have working for us. Oh, it's been, it's an open market, it's huge. You know, the, the opportunity for the diversity in the cheese industry is fantastic. And, and you have to be that way in order to sell a lot of product. And so we've got a great group of people with working on the research and development side for us. So it's been really fortunate for us. All right, we have 185 farm families that market their milk through us here at Nasonville Dairy. And we are so lucky we have like the best dairy farms in not only in central Wisconsin, but in the United States, uh, marketing milk through us. So we're just really fortunate on that side. 
Actually, we started in 1968. Our father brought us here uh, from another cheese plant in Wisconsin. We had come in from the cheese business. We've always been in the business. We had moved around the state in different parts. He brought us here about that time. The plant ran 7,500 pounds of milk at that time and now runs about 1.5 million a day. So. Originally started out with making cheddar and now we make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Pizza Cheese, Quesa Blanca, Quesa de Fierro, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fata Caceri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, as well as making some Gouda, Edom, and a little bit of uh, Munster on occasion. Back here at Stevens Point, time now for your Nasonville Dairy post game show. Nasonville Dairy's got fresh cheese curds that are made daily, so go to nasonvilledairy.com. It was a sweep for the Spash Panthers. They, the team scores a 117 to 53. Spash gets the win in the meet tonight. Quick rundown of the events. Again, event number one was the 200 yard medley relay won by the Spash Panthers, 156 63, the time on that one. Next, the 200 yard freestyle won by Owen Bond of Spash, 210 33, his time. The 200 yard individual medley was won by Parker Soik of Spash, 218 26, the score there. The 50-yard freestyle won by Connor Pilger of Spash, 23-28 the time. The 100-yard butterfly, Will, Will Gargalak, 101-84 the time for Gargalak to win that one. The 100-yard freestyle was won by Sam Hill, 57-65 the time, got under a minute for that one. The 500-yard freestyle, the first grueling event of the night, Sam Gargalak, 553-29 the time, he won by 33 seconds. The 200 yard freestyle relay was won by Spash at the time 153.30. The individual 100 yard backstroke won by Connor Pilger. One minute 02 was the time for Pilger. The 10th event, the 100 yard breaststroke, Parker Soik, 109.04 the time for Soik. And our final event of the evening was the 400 yard freestyle relay. That was won by Spash's A team, Pilger, Hill, Soik, and Bond, 351.41. The final time for that one, again, your team scores was Spash 117 and Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln 53. Again, thanks to all the competitors coming out. I know it's been an interesting year, and getting in the pools uh, at times can be kind of tough. As I came out, left everything out there. Those, those long events were very impressive, and Spash definitely showed up in a very big way, had a very strong performance as well as we wrap things up here for Zaleski Sports. That has been your Nasonville Dairy post game show. Of course, Nasonville Dairy has fresh cheese curds that are made daily, so go to nasonvilledairy.com. For Travis Zaleski, this is Mike Wendland saying so long for this Thursday evening. Stay tuned. We've got plenty more events on ZaleskiSports.com. Go check them out. we got a lot of basketball going on tonight as well, including Pacelli Cardo basketball. They're taking on a wild rose, so stay tuned for that. Again, go to ZaleskiSports.com to find the complete list. Of course, you can check this one out later on on YouTube as well. We'll have that up. So, everyone, stay warm, stay safe. Have a great one here tonight. One more time.